Hi, my name is Melody Miller and I'm super excited to do this video reflection. Um, this class has been so much fun. I cannot wait to continue teaching after being in this class and many others. Uh, I feel a lot more prepared. Um, some things I've learned is really just understanding the stages of child development. It's extremely crucial. I really want to make sure I understand how children develop and how I can tailor my lessons to be age appropriate and engaging. Really having an effective classroom with great management strategies. I want to set clear expectations and really have a positive environment, um, which I know is essential for creating a productive learning environment. Um, I want them to feel comfortable with me and I want them to know I'll always be there to support them. I'm um, creating a really comprehensive lesson plan um, that aligns with the curriculum of the school and what I feel is is best to teach them and also adapting and being flexible to their student needs. Um, I've learned that the importance of clear and concise communication is extremely, extremely important um, with giving instructions, providing feedback, communicating with parents, all of that really goes into effect um, for a great experience. I need to make sure I adapt my lessons to meet the diverse learning styles and needs, um, especially if we need visual aids or more interactive activities uh, for all different types of learner. learners, which will also make me um, more empathetic and patient. Uh, so I need to make sure to transform into the teacher that I want to be, who I would want to learn from. Uh, really understanding each student has a unique challenge and all the different strengths that they have um, so that I can be that supportive teacher. Um, I've learned to continue to reflect on my teaching practices and really seek uh, feedback so that I can improve and then I can grow. Um, some of the biggest challenges on this journey will obviously be how do I manage diverse learners in my classroom. Um, I've dealt with that a lot this summer, uh, a lot of behavioral issues, a lot of, like I said, just different different learners, and I want to make sure that everybody feels just as important and is getting everything they need from what we're teaching. Uh, really understanding that they learn at different paces and ensuring that they're challenged um, and being supportive while also engaging in and understanding the content that we are offering them. Um, they come from diverse backgrounds, so really bridging that cultural and educational gap requires requires really thoughtful uh, and inclusive teaching strategies that I, I'm excited to uh, learn more about. Um, I really want to engage in ongoing professional development and learn new strategies and stay up to date with best practices. Uh, that's going to make me better from year to year. I never want to be stagnant. I really want to be that teacher where you can see growth every year until I retire one day. Um, and also, like I said, just incorporating the collaborative learning activities where we can support each other and have fun. Um, and then that goes into using the learning technologies that provide personalized learning experience, um, which will also be a great asset. <laughs> So I envision using technology to enhance learning experience and streamline uh, classroom management. Obviously with being in your class, I've learned a lot. Um, I can't tell you how much fun this last project was for me. Thank you again for your patience during this time, but I had a blast creating a Google Classroom. We did not use this growing up. So to have my own room and to put all of the information that I felt necessary for them to learn weather, for example, was so much fun. Um, and then I used the assessment Kahoot, which I'm definitely going to use in the future. I played the game. I didn't realize it was so fun and interactive, but I think the kids won't feel like it's a crazy quiz or test because they're having fun as well. I'm going to do, you know, virtual field trips and go to places around the world, which um, using VR has really taught me can brighten brighten your 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 eyes into what's out there. Um, I want to make technology in my classroom uh, an everyday thing because it is so interactive and it is engaging. And I know that it gives gets more kids involved to participate and they're interested in. Um, I really wanted to cater to their individual needs and so provide that support. Um, it's going to help me because the digital tools are obviously great at tracking their progress and providing. Um, timely feedback, which is great, but I need to wrap this up. Main thing is I can't wait to have a great time in my classroom and use technology. I've got challenges, but I'm so excited to move forward. You've taught me so much and I thank you. This is going to be a great journey. Have a good one.